Hello and welcome back to Within a Deep Forest. It's been a couple of days since I've been able to do any recording. I... right, we got everything last time. I just got over this weird condition called BPPV, which stands for Benign Paroxysmal Positional Vertigo, which is like when... I don't know, it's very strange. It's like calcium crystals in your inner ear gets dislodged and dispositioned and it like causes vertigo and nausea and general shittiness so what am I doing I'm supposed to have the mundane ball so yeah I had that for a while but it didn't last very long so that's good so I'm feeling fine now and I don't really remember much of this, but I guess we're just going into the lab, so let's... Wow, that was, that was excellent. That was great. So, I'll try to do that today, and that... Come on now. And that should be the end of this series, but I'll get to that when I get to that. Oh dear god, okay. Right? Oh god! I was gonna say good, but there we go. And then just don't fall down this thing. No, don't do it. Alright, good. We're good. And down here. Hello, just passing by. Alright, so we'll see if there's any change to this place, or any changes. I kind of doubt there will be, we'll see. But yeah, there generally haven't been many changes at all. There's been like a couple of weird odd ones. Come on, get through there. But nothing really major. So let's head up here first. And... Yeah, this code is the same. So this is the only one we need to actually use, because the, uh, the games are already unlocked. So 7190, let's do the 01 first, because that's the most annoying one, I find. Here we go. It's really nice that this last area has really good music. Oh, damn it. And my cat is here! Hold on, I'm gonna see what my cat wants. I'll bring it back. He wanted food! Of course he wants food. They always want food. When has a cat ever not wanted food? Seriously. Oh, right, not here. On the way back. No, damn it. Yeah, that is like the hardest jump, or whatever you want to call it, in this section. What? That was one heck of a boost for just two presses. Yeah, this ball just feels kind of inconsistent. Sometimes, I think it's depending on when you press up during your bounces, sometimes you just go sky high and super fast, and other times almost nothing happens. Alright, that's good. You just don't die on this. And we should be good. Oh god, yeah that was close. Alright, and first digit complete. There we go. And then it was 7190. I'm oh, right. I have to get back. I think it was 79, 7190, right? So hit this. And let's do mundane. This one is usually not that bad. The, uh, the laser one's probably gonna be really hard with these- whoa! With these controls. 
Oh god, what is it doing? Oh god. Oh god. This is really hard to time when the ball just won't stay still. So I wanna go, like, now? Come on! Yes, there we go. Good. Complete luck. There we go, and then blue ball. I think it was this anyways, right? Oh, that's nice, we get to be the blue ball in the lasers. Then it's actually not that bad. It's pretty much just like playing normal mode, because the blue ball controls the same as far as I know. Oh shit, wow, okay. I'm pretty sure that's much faster now, isn't it? Pretty sure. Oh, what am I doing? Oh. Yeah, that feels way faster, so I guess that's one change in hard mode. It's just kind of strange to have these very, like, odd changes, just very specific things just changed for no real reason. Oh, damn it. Ah, why do I do that? I think I'm trying to control it as if it's another ball. I've sort of gotten used to that now, and not having it be responsive and stuff. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I had that. Nope. Ah. Nope. Nope. Oh, that was close. And there we go. Nope. Nope. Shit. I wonder, let me just try something. Can I stand here? Yes, I can. So you can abuse that. Okay. So, for example, here... Wait. Oh. Yeah, I can stand like that if I don't think I'll make it. Okay, that's good to know. Damn it. Are we good? Are we done? Alright, good. We're done. We're good. We're done. There we go. Alright, and last one is the cold ball. Oh god, now it's so weird to get back to this... this... weirdness. Yeah, this like, floaty control... thing. I saw that coming. Yeah, this is a lot harder now that you can't really control yourself. You can't, like, stand in a corner and just sit there, because your ball is going to keep moving most of the time. Man, this is so hard! I can't... I can't land on that one block. It's so hard to just land there and not hit the, the side. Jesus Christ. Nope. 
I think that thing might be moving faster as well. Maybe, I'm not sure. I don't really feel like it, but it would make sense. Alright, hold on, hold on. Just stay completely still. Can I jump this? Yes, I can. Alright, phew. So basically holding A through that is the key. You should just be doing that. Alright, and this time we can actually check this stuff. So this is a laser, it kills you, and it's too high for the glass ball, so I can't do that. And these things also kill you. Okay, just good to know, we didn't really figure that out last time, because I got it so fast. There we go. And... We're done! Yes, I want to save my game. And I guess we can skip this. I think the game is just gonna... Yeah, if I, if I skip the credits, the game is just gonna close. So I'll just boot the game back up. Oh, I can't skip the credits. You can't. Okay, I guess I could just close the game. Yeah, the credits are fairly long, but uh, I'm quite low on time anyways, so have credits again, I guess. Do I do anything? Nope. I forgot about this. But now, at this point, I kind of want to go back and try to do Knit and Knit Stories. However, they are kind of weird to record and stuff, and even like most of the videos on, uh, on YouTube, there's not many, and pretty much all of them are just sort of windows on the desktop that people have recorded, because they're so weird. But I'll try it, I'll see how it looks as a YouTube video, and if it doesn't look too shit, and like, you can actually see what's happening and stuff, and maybe see the text, then I might do that. Otherwise, I guess I might jump straight into Knit Underground or Night Sky. We'll see. But... I kind of want to keep my Nifless streak going. Well, it's not really much of a streak because this is the first game, but still, I want to play more Nifless games, I want to share more Nifless games, I want more people to know about Nifless games because they are amazing. So be on the lookout for that! The game's gonna close now. So I just wanted to jump back in and see if there's anything at all here. Like, what happens if we go back to Harara Mountains after having beaten the game? Is there anything around? I don't think there is. Oh, and those platforms are not even there when you're uh, the flight ball. So that's pretty cool. So you actually have to do that with the rubber ball, which makes sense, because otherwise there would be no challenge. I'm just gonna make my way over here. No. Alright, I don't think there's anything here, really. Can I press S? No. Well, I guess I'll just run through this and see if there is something at the end, but there probably isn't. Nope, you don't even get the same messages that, like, it's the end or anything. Let's check the top left, I guess. 
Yeah, nothing here. All right. So, I did hear about the whole speedrun thing, so I'm just gonna check. If we start a new game now... No. How do you do that? How do you do... speedrun? I don't know how you do a speedrun. I heard there was an actual in-game way of doing it. Right? Wasn't there? I don't know. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe that's some sort of weird, like... Uh, thing you have to edit the files for. I don't know. So I guess that's it. I'm not gonna replay the game again, but, uh... Oh, right, can't do that. But yeah, that's it for Within a Deep Forest. I hope you've enjoyed this series, and as I've said, I'll be back with more Niflis one way or another. And that's it. We're done. It's over. You can leave now. Go. Go away. There's nothing more to see here. Okay, bye.